Hi, I'm Dr Emma Caroon, a Senior Community Manager at the Alan Turing Institute, and I'm going to be talking to you about project management for writing. This presentation has been adapted from a course developed by Dr Kirsty Whitaker for the Alan Turing Institute Data Study Group. Writing is a process and there are many more steps than just the putting words onto paper. Remember, we saw this circular diagram in the writing process video showing the whole writing process. It involves planning, drafting, reflecting, getting feedback and then polishing your work. But how would you get all of this done? A blog on writing project management by Kathy Mazak, an academic writing coach, suggests the common issues of not being able to start writing and also not finishing writing tasks is down to the same problem, a lack of writing project management. Kathy Mazak's blog goes on to suggest three things. First, to break down writing projects into smaller tasks. If you just have write article in your to-do list, it is never going to get done. So break down the writing process into smaller bite-sized tasks, such as different sections or tasks that will be possible in one or two hours of work. This could be brainstorming ideas, writing a plan of the article, starting your first draft, writing a first draft of the introduction or making figures and tables. Secondly, schedule out the tasks. Find the best writing time for you and schedule that as time to do your list of tasks. You could keep the entire list as a bank of tasks and just work down it or plan out more in advance when you're going to do each of the tasks. And thirdly, do the tasks. It might seem simple to say, but just get it done. Do writing during the times you decided were the best times for you. Tick things off your list and plan some rewards for getting smaller tasks done. If you need more motivation, then here are some useful resources and techniques for writing project management that might help you to get the writing done. Firstly, Kanban boards. These can be used to plan and project manage tasks. They break the tasks up into columns, you can then move them across the board when completed. You can do this simply by using post-it notes and a whiteboard, or you can use online tools such as GitHub issues or project boards or Miro. You can see in this image um, some suggested column headings that are to do, doing or in progress and done. You can add others such as text drafted, draft reviewed to further break down the steps needed into more columns. Next is the Pomodoro technique. This is when you break up your writing sessions into smaller bits to help you focus. You do short focus sessions such as 20 minutes using a timer and then take a break in between. It is a good idea to switch off all distractions in your focus time, such as stopping any email notifications from popping up on your computer. If you work better with a friend, then organise a virtual or in-person co-working session. You can use the Pomodoro technique or just spend that time together quietly working. It is a good idea to talk to your fellow worker at the start about what you are writing, as you might get some valuable feedback or help. And having these co-working sessions brings accountability to your task, meaning you are more likely to get it done. In the Turing Way project, we use regular co-working sessions to get tasks done and you can see our chapter on co-working in the Turing Way online book. See the link on this slide. There is also shut up and write sessions. You might consider writing in a different location, such as a cafe, and find out more about this by using the link on the slide. Thanks for listening and find out more about the Turing Way project using these links.